Well, good afternoon. Yeah, no good morning, good morning, because I'm not filming this till late in the day. <laughs> but it's going to be just a little short one I think you'd enjoy. Here's uh, our roof, and yes, we do have it 99.9% .9 done. We even mounted uh, our water cooler up here last night. Chris has gone to Alaska to go to a wedding. So I'm glad he gets that opportunity. Here's our video about doing a little roofing this week. Thanks for watching. Look who has arrived on my roof. Get some work done. This is Mr. Chris. He is getting work done is right. Look at this yeah. man. Hopefully we can get these shingles off today. You are a hard working man, Chris. <laughs> you gotta be, right? Looking good. Looking good. We're getting there, getting the top row off and then uh, the bottom row and hope that'll be it for today. You're getting pretty close. Yeah. And then I, this looks familiar right here. That's Chris's bus right there. We're gonna put some, some cabinets in there. We're gonna put some plywood in there. It's gonna look like a house when he leaves here. I was just saying we're about three fourths of the way there. So gotta go all the way down there and get that bottom row. Then tomorrow you said doing the staples, cleaning up everything, then putting the paper up in the inspection and come till Monday. Monday morning. And then... Uh, I already called and requested it for Monday morning. So. Okay. And then we're going to do, like, clean up or separate what you're wanting to keep versus what you're going to be throwing away. And then start the process of throwing away everything that doesn't need to be here. Because we have the dumpster, right? Might as well fill that thing up. Quick as possible and get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, going to fill it up. But it's uh, they only take it if it's level. We can't okay. pile it up. So we have to compress it if we put anything in there that's spongy well i'm looking at these shingles like I, it's kind of hard to get an estimate but i feel like we're going to have plenty of space after all these shingles get in there a lot of space yeah i think so too so we're we're looking good dude oh it is a beautiful sunset yes it is and look at this chris my goodness It's a beautiful sunset. Did you take time to look at that? Oh yeah. Almost there. Yeah, half a square left. Yeah. You ready for some ice cream? <laughs> yeah, in about 10, 15 minutes I'll be there. We have low carb ice cream. Sounds good. Right along with that keto diet everybody should look at. That's right. <laughs> Looks great, man. It's a lot of work. Yeah, but it's good to see the work, you know? Whenever you're, you're working, you look back at what you already did. And you go, wow. Listening to a good podcast doesn't get much better. Yeah, that's one thing I miss about living in Colorado is the sunset with the mountains. can't see it very well now but uh, Pikes Peak and it got snow the last three days when we got rain okay here we are at the uh... Thunderbird Inn yeah Thunderbird Inn <laughs> with our pastors going to eat in a in a bar <laughs> Here we are, <laughs> at the bar. Yep, that's it. Get a hamburger. Well, it's uh, 
absolutely been a great week and it's been a good thing for us to be uh, living in the bus for the last uh, few months three or four months and we are really enjoying it but it's also helping us to do a little tweaking a little troubleshooting on our bus to make sure that we're not going to have any trouble out there on the road so you can see I've have the ladder up there on the front of the bus because I've been up there doing a couple things and this week uh, we're going to go up this next week and we're going to go up to uh, uh, Glenwood Springs and we're going to pick up our two panels, our solar panels uh, to put on the roof of this bus and get that back in 100% operational uh, working order. So thanks so much for watching. We appreciate it and uh, just uh, you keep watching, we'll keep making them. Life is a joy.